Escape to Keene in the Shire and join other cop lockers. Freekeen.com doing here? Well, it's like, I I what it's about. Uh, I asked her if there was a rule that stated that I had to sit down in there. She couldn't give me a rule or regulation. There uh, apparently is no rule or regulation. And I would like your name and badge number. Did she ask you to sit down? Did she ask me to sit down? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she did ask me to sit down. And I asked her if there was a rule that required me to do that. She couldn't state it. So she did mention about the fire marshal, but what, what rule or regulation? Do what? And your comment of that was what? I don't know. Ask these people in here. What do you, I want your I want your name and badge numbers, every single one of you, because I didn't do anything wrong. Nobody said you did. So okay. Oh, I understand that, but I have no statements to make at this time, okay. and I want to go back in there and get my driver's license because I didn't do anything wrong, and you need to ask every single one of those people I what I've done. Do anything except my job. What is your job? Your job is to do what? I really wouldn't do that, video or not. You're not gonna like that. Do what? You need to calm down. I am calm. Okay. You're shaking, you're trembling. And you're I'm trembling because you guys are abusing your authority. No, sir, we're not. We're doing our job. And for what? You what did I do wrong? What what rule did I break? We were asked by the Texas Department of Public Safety uh -huh. if there was a man in a red shirt causing a disturbance. We responded Ask any of my girlfriends in there. If you'll let me finish my sentence, you're okay. being so rude and interrupting me. Okay. So okay. You well, you get it out of your pocket, okay? You're not intimidating me by I'm, I'm not trying to intimidate you. Well, you're, you're not know, intimidating me either. You're just yeah. making me... Then why are you, why are you shaking but, because this is amazing that this lady can come in here and get me thrown out of here after I've waited you're an hour. Big production now, you're the, you got, do you need four of you? Do you need four of you? And what rule did I break? I don't know. I didn't break. I was worrying about talking, about talking to other people and answering my questions. Maybe we should well, I don't have any statements to make this time. I don't have to answer your, your questions. Okay, you can leave. Well, I don't, for what? Because this is a government building. Uh-huh. Okay, and at this point, you're being uncooperative. Okay. Do I have to be cooperative? What do you, how am I being uncooperative? See, this is the third time you've interrupted me now. Okay. I mean, you just keep on. Okay. There's really no point in that. Okay, well, just let me go back See, in. Why not? No, I'm not going to just let you do anything. Why? Okay, you can come back another time when you're calm and when you're not I'm dead. calm right now. I'm calm right now. Look at my hand. I'm not... This isn't, this isn't going to happen. Okay. You need to go ahead and leave. You can cool off. And then you For can what? Die. I didn't do anything wrong. Ask these people in here if I've done anything wrong. I don't need to ask anybody. Why? Anything. Why? Well, you don't need any evidence. You're just, you can just come in and tell, why don't you tell the rest of these people to leave? Again, I'm going to tell you one more time. And or what? I'm not breaking any laws. I'm on public property. Okay. You're creating a disturbance and you're impeding a government operation. Let me, let me finish. I, let me finish. Okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Go ahead and leave. Go somewhere and cool off. Take a break. You can come back later. But you're not gonna cooperate, and you wish to stand here and continue to cause this disturbance and impede this legal government operation. How am I? How am I criminally trespassing on public time. property? Last time. Please leave. Well, oh, I've got to get my girlfriend out there. Okay, wait right here, and I'll get her. She's coming. Okay. This is this is the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my life. You guys ought to be ashamed of yourself. Nobody you ought to be ashamed, ashamed of yourself. Of responding to a call. Do what? We didn't, we didn't just pick you out. We were asked to come over here, and we did. By who? The Texas Department of Public Safety. That lady in there that's mad. Look, look at these people. They're all agreeing with me. You're, you're not listening to me. You're, you want me to listen to you, but you're not listening to me. This is like the fifth or sixth time now. You've interrupted. Uh huh. I'm asking you to leave, and you're still standing here. You need to go ahead and leave the property and for, come back at a later time. For what? Well, if, if I'm this criminally is, trespassing right now, what? what? It's really not worth going to jail over. It, it, it's not it's worth not. going to jail over. And I'm a school teacher, and I don't, I don't act that way. I, I just asked her if there was a rule that required me to sit down, and there's not one. And you, okay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to. Are you guys going to arrest me for that? Okay. Please don't resist. That's just going to make the I'm not going to resist. Go ahead. Thank you what? very much. What are you taking my phone for? Because it's so many cells across so many states, so many are doing their time. Well, we hear these myths about rehab as if these structures were reducing crime. Incarceration and the rate of crime, the correlation is staying there. But it sends out a message to the dispossessed, telling them all to be well. Listen to what they say, but for those behind bars, these lies are so...
so far.